Right, we're continuing with the 410 debate. I've had a lot of interest in the uh, in the 410 versus 12 bore uh, scenario, and uh, I've decided to, to come and visit a good friend of mine, Les Taylor. All right, Les. That's about that. Nice to see you again. Yeah. And uh, Les is, is a dedicated uh, home loader. How long have no. you been at it? 20 years? Nearly so? 50. Nearly 50? Yeah. Oh. Not all with 410, yeah. but shooting in general. Yeah, well, a lot of you won't have been born when Les started loading these things, so he does know a bit about it. The reason I, I, I phoned Les up, uh, people thought it wasn't a fair comparison uh, with the, the 410 that I, the 14 loads that I used, which were just simply off the shelf. Uh, the little two and a half inch fall on cartridge and the uh, the two foreign three inch make cartridges and one of the big issues of course is using them on on high birds and uh, hence my phone call to Les let's sit at the table and, and discuss it what uh, what I consider a, an expert in uh, in this field in in in, in game shooting as well, he's a good game shot, he's Les. Uh, but you can get more out of a 410 doing your own thing, can't you, Les? Definitely. Yeah. Yeah. You, you, load, you load it up to what you want to, to do yeah. with it, if yeah. you understand that. Yeah, as you can see, he's got, I've got loads various here. powders, yeah. and each each powder will do its own thing, won't it, Les? Yeah. Uh, you'll, have you got a, a slow burning powder, fast burning powder, I don't know. What have you got here to... You know? Mainly with 14, they're nearly all slow burning. You don't want a really fast burning powder. Oh, uh, and why is that? It creates quite a lot of pressure with 14. Right. Uh, so you yeah. try and keep them pressures yeah. down yeah. as best you can. Yeah, well, I understand that, yeah. I've heard that it does tear the... It, if you get them too high pressured, if you use the wrong powder, yeah. the faster burning powder, just blow the ends off. It can yeah. do a lot more than that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it can do a bit of damage to the gun as well. Yeah. So there's a lot of factory loaders available. Uh, and one of the reasons that, um, that these chaps load their own uh, fortunes because they're not cheap to buy off the shelf, are they? No. You know, if you go for a factory load, uh, even though there's less shot, there's less powder, they're more expensive than a 12 bore, aren't they? And that's because they're not a popular load. It is, know, and it's they're very difficult to load. Yeah. Uh, they're hard enough by hand, yeah. but I would hate to think I'd got a, a mechanised yeah. run trying to keep them going. Yeah, yeah. We've discussed this a few times, Les, on high bird shooting. You've been with me and you've loaded for me. Yeah. So, what, how would, do you think I'd get on with the 410 outside of some of them birds that I've shot? Or what you've seen me shoot anyway? What would, how would you compare it? Uh, you can't compare it because they're not, a 410's not for the type of birds that you generally shoot. You would hit the odd one or two. Yeah. But to consistently kill a bird and, and, and do it properly, no, it, they're not no. high bird guns. Twelve. The ideal place for this gun is in Lincolnshire on on, on partridge, on, on good, fast, yeah. low partridge. Yeah. Which yeah. is, it's an, I mean, we, he's just remarked about this gun as, uh, as uh, Les. I know he's got various um, guns that t actually take 410 battles. You've, you've you've got dedicated 410s as well, but yeah. I, I, if I remember when uh, you, you once fetched a gun to uh, north of England and you got three sets, three or four sets Six of battles for that, and 410, 28 bore and 12 bore of course, and and but this is is this a, this is dedicated 410 by the look of it, yeah, and um, is this it looks like a Browning to me it's, this um, a Browning Stroke Miracle, right. Uh, that's the gun that I won World 410 Championship yeah. with. It's a dedicated group of uh, followers, is, is the 410 uh, load, and they they have their own competitions. But one remark I did, I did cynically remark that um, it's easy to become a champion with, with the 410. It, I, I didn't mean it in no, I such a way where it, it's it, was taking, it, it's, it wasn't going to take any type of dedication what your lads have got for it. What what I was trying to say, explain is that you never see anybody turn up with a fortune at the World Fitness Championships no. because they wouldn't they wouldn't they wouldn't win anything they wouldn't hit anything no. they'd hit a few but they would not win anything at all would they? Uh, no. And there's a lot yeah. more people do fit us. Yeah. I mean, if you've got to be honest and say that Fortin's fairly close community. Yeah. It's growing, but it's small. Yeah. 
So yeah, Fitas would be harder, mm. and, and down the line, yeah. Championship would be harder. Yeah, yeah. But I think um, there's a. It's a fun for me. It's always been a fun weapon. Mm. You know, it's it's been a, a fun gun really. Where uh, you know you can if everybody's using four tens, that's a fun aspect to it. Mm -hmm. You know, there's it's it, it then it it becomes a uh, um, a point where. Each shooter that's entering the 410 uh, competition, he's got his dedicated load, what he's been working on. Yeah. And I suppose you are experimenting every day with, with 410 well, loads. You can see these. These range from from 16 gram 8s up yeah. to 20 gram 4s. Now, you'll notice that that's a roll turnover, which yeah. I don't normally use. That's a 3 inch crimp against a roll turnover. Mm. Well, which do you prefer then, rolled or...? I prefer crimp because you tend to get a better pattern with them. I prefer sixes for yeah. most game. Yeah, yeah. well, the, the, the proximity you're shooting at them, at mm -hmm. sort of 25, 30 yard of it, you wouldn't really want to be shooting out above 30 yard, would you? No, yeah. not consistently, no. Not, not, not to be to no. be fair on the fair game. On, yeah. I'm like, back end of season, when pheasants are a bit a bit more hardy, yeah. I'll go on to a five. Yeah, but, uh, yeah, which is, yeah, which is fair enough, yeah. I know that, uh, you're a fantastic engineer, but retired now, aren't you? Mm -hmm. Yeah. But you've gone to making your own tools because it makes a better job of the of the cartridge what you're making. Is that is that is that why you've done it? Yeah. Well, I think you can now buy yeah. this type of thing. Yeah. Well, at the time when I made these, couldn't it, buy yeah, you couldn't buy them. Yeah. So. Yeah. I've seen one in a twelve bore, but I've never seen one in a four ten, and I've never seen one as well made as that. That's brilliant. That. Yeah. So. We're talking to a, a guy now that um, is retired now, is Les, but he's still very active in uh, in making his loads, and he is is willing to go the extra mile to get the best out of the 410 cartridge. So that's one of the reasons that I visited Les, you know, because I'm going to take these away, some of these away. We used to, he's kindly do me some samples. I'm going to do the exact same test but with your 410 loads against the 28 gram 7.5. Right. So this is one of Les's uh, 18 gram 7.5 ohm loads and we're going to try that in the same experiment, the copycat. And then have you got a, uh, a 6? I don't know whether you knew, I, I, whether this, the, the fall long, what I, what I showed, a little 2.5 inch. Yeah. Right, and uh, and that was a six, and um, it didn't it didn't come out well at all on the. Uh, They're good for rats inside of a barn, and that's about it. That you've got it from the horse's mouth, and um, I shot it. I thought, well, I'll start uh, on my normal game load testing distance, which is fifty five yard. Right? I think that's a fantastic bird, and. Um, and I can see on the pattern plate whether I've got enough energy and enough enough pellets to go a little bit further. Mm -hmm. You'll see me shoot birds further than that. Yeah. When I looked at this two and a half inch number six, I thought, well, a number six is is a is typical pellet size for the four ten to use on game. So straight away I thought, let's go straight to fifty five yard mark where I test all my game cartridges from. Everything that Game Boy sent me and anything. You've, you've put together loads for me as well, but they're all tested at the same distance, aren't they, Les? Yeah. You know, then you've got a fair comparison then. I thought, well, let's jump straight, chuck, chuck the little 410 straight into the fire pit and we'll go straight to 55 yard. Well, the pattern were atrocious. What chokes were you using, David? They were three quarter, they were, they were oh. definitely three quarter choke. But I think. Because I was using three quarter choke in the uh, the twelve bore, mm -hmm. I thought, well, I'll use three quarter choke in the yeah. uh, in the four ten. And uh, somebody did remark that it, you should have been on full or super full with the four ten. Not necessarily. I run three quarter, three quarter. Yeah. Most. Of them. Well, that's that's the one that chokes I prefer yeah. is three quarter. Anyway, they, when we looked at the uh, the pattern plate with this two and little two and a half inch uh, Ely four long, <clears throat> it were. Just ridiculous, you know. I thought, well, I did remark, who, who would want to shoot these at game, you know? And people, you know, you 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 do hear people bragging that they're shooting, they're shooting fifty-five yard pheasants with these things, 
And I think, well, I've got a DVD that's that big, that, that rep, for me represents the body of a bird, a body of a bird mm -hmm. easily, you know. And there wasn't one pellet on the DVD, and you could have, honestly, you could have, you could have thrown a football through the pattern. And uh, the next, the next experiment was at forty yard, then at thirty yard. But what I did see at forty yard and thirty yard, which is something that is a question I'm going to pose to you, we noticed that when we pulled the wad out, though there, there were half a dozen pellets still not touched. Are you talking fibre one? No, it wasn't fibre, it was plastic. Right. No, it was plastic. Mm -hmm. But there were, there were six pellets in the bottom of this thing that, were, that weren't touched. Yeah. Right. And on the uh, 30 yard, it had done the same, but obviously the impact were too great, it bounced back out. But you could see it, it had made a, a real indentation and, the, and there were lead dust, which were obviously off the shot that were still in it. At 30, well definitely at 40 yard, you should never see it one. No, that's what I thought. And at 30 yard, I wouldn't expect to see what into, into target yeah. area. So the only way it can be is if the lead's still inside it yeah. and it's travelling as one missile. So you you think that that, that, would have balled, that would have balled a ball together? That it sounds like it. Off to the 410. Yeah. 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 So you, you've, got, you've got a fair amount of shot comparative to the size of ball mm. trying to get out at end all in one go. Yeah. So at some stage, it's going to be funneled in and it's going to be hitting each other trying to get out. Yeah. Now, if it's hot as well, if you if it's an hot charge, a little bit stuck together. Yeah. And if you were expecting the worst in clays, in clays and you were going to a, a, a medium day where you would expect to see something 30 yard away, what would, what chokes would you use and, and what loads would you use on the on the game on on a on a on a nice partridge day where you're going to meet some 25 to 35 yarders. Right. Well, I've settled basically settled 90 percent on three quarter three quarter for most things. Yeah. And I'd take a, a, a proper seven to right. start with, and a six as a backup. Right. And I'll be, be running 18. Yeah. 18 stroke 19 gram. Yeah. Yeah, that sounds like a sensible load, that, especially for this little gun. You know, if it's closer on clays, you've got to be more accurate. You have yeah. with these things anyway. Yeah. Uh, and it's good practice. And then as you get farther out, yeah, like, yeah. it can help you that little bit as well. Yeah, we've we've experimented with, with the same with with the twelve ball with um, with tighter jokes. I've I've got some. Extra full and extra full, and I just find they just don't work, mm -hmm. you know. And I always pull back to the the full and three quarters, yeah. and I, I think I've probably killed more birds with with the three because it's my it's always my first battle anyway. But I've probably killed more birds with the with the three quarter short than any two. What are you picking out for us to try then, Leslie, to be a good experiment then? Well, uh, these are seven and a half, eighteen gram. Eighteen gram. Um, That'll do for our clay test, won't it? So if you uh, use a 19 gram plastic, sixes. These are 20 gram fours. Right. And you want some fives. Yeah, lovely that. So these are 19 gram plastic fives. Right? We've just jumped the 410 mark. Now we're going into the uh, into the 28 ball, which is it's a favourite little gun of mine, and uh, it's it's one of the uh, the gauges that we are going to do a film on. <laughs> I know Game Ball got some fantastic um, uh, 28 ball because I, I see them on a regular basis at Water Priory, pulling nice birds down. As I've said before, I don't think the 410 is the correct gun. To introduce children on deal with us. No. No. I mean, I started my granddaughter off with a 20 ball. What happens typically is dad will take you know, the lad, buy him a 410, take him shooting, and uh, they'll, they'll, they'll go, they'll go uh, clay shooting for a bit of practice, and he'll, he'll go on a, he'll, they'll, they'll typically send him an income or something. And if it's 15 out, 20 yard away, which is a nice little target to, for a beginner to start on. 
and with a 14 they could quite easily miss the whole lot mm -hmm. and with a 28 bore it just cuts that margin of error down altogether a bit, a bit, wider, a bit, a bit better, better pattern. pattern yeah these are and small pattern long string thanks very much for doing this for us no it's problem, been lovely right? and uh, let me know the results well if you want to come along Les I'll get you I, uh, when we do it I'll give you a shout if you, yeah. want, to, if you want to come along and be our expert witness no which, problem. It, which, it, which it would be lovely